looking for something really unique and interesting in a world of mechanical keyboards. Super high quality, but also budget friendly. I'm here to help you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yev. And today we have a new keyboard from Royal Clash. And this is RK96 mechanical keyboard with hot swappable yellow switches, RGB, additional software for customization your RGB, also USB hub with pass-through and all other pleasant unique options. So let's dive into the box and do the review. Okay guys, time to dive in. So box is standard one, good quality, so your keyboard will be safe during transportation, no worries about it. Let's see what we have inside, right? So from the beginning you may see that this keyboard is covered with plastic bag, which is good. And in addition to that, it's covered with a plastic box. So it defends this keyboard from dust and from mechanical damages or scratches whatever may happen during transportation. Immediately after the open the box, you may see that this is super amazing keyboard. I'm really surprised how it looks like. So today we have a forest blue design and you may see that it's really blue with notes of kind of, I don't know, what this color is, beige, or I am not expert in colors. From other side, you can see this elevation options, Robert fees, and couple of switches on off, and this is wireless receiver in magnet hole, so you can safely store this during transportation if or if you don't need it right now let me show you closer the main guest of today's show and this is amazing amazing forest blue rk96 from royal clutch and you see this sound control and multimedia control and all other stuff and indicators about numpad section so let's see what else do we have inside the box this is ergonomic magnetic wrist rest it's also in a dust cover in a plastic bag and you can attach this like this so this keyboard is with yellow switches i ordered it with yellow switches because i know what does it mean red and brown and even gray but today i want to try this yellow and also we have this puller it's a key cup and switch puller we will use this to check customization options and of course we have a cable and usb-c to usb-a so before we will start uh, checking all details and do the fill test let's go quickly through what we have today on the desk so this is first of all triple mods so you can connect this keyboard to the, your laptop or pc or other devices through or bluetooth 5.0 or 2.4 wireless or you can use this cable or your cable to connect this keyboard in wired mode right then you have hot swappable three pin five pin compatible uh, switches in this key in this case is yellow one you have volume control button you can increase or decrease your volume this keyboard is 90 percent layout with 96 keys and it's redefined full size Right. I already mentioned we have a couple of additional yellow linear switches and we have nice bonus as a magnet handrest, which is nice. Right. Let's see how, how we can connect this keyboard today 
to my MacBook. So the obvious way is to use my call digit hub. So I will just connect this side to the my dock station and from other side you can see that we have this two USB pass through and this is type C connector to connect this to my MacBook. So let's do this. There we go. And my MacBook immediately recognizes this keyboard. So let me quickly help to understand layout for my MacBook. Also, I like usually to elevate my keyboard a lot. So in this case, you have two level of elevation, one and two. I will use second one. It's kind of tough, you know, strong fits. So first of all, it's on and off. So let's switch this keyboard on. And second is Bluetooth or wireless. So currently we are using neither Bluetooth or wireless. So I don't need this switcher, but later maybe we will use this to test other connection options. So there we go. We connected a keyboard to the Mac through uh, my dock station using wired cable and you don't you know what um, I'm not really like this black keyboard uh, black um, cable so I have my own another one let me use let me use my my cable for this so now it looks a little bit nicer do you agree Okay guys, so one of my project is on MacBook Pro. So let's connect this keyboard over Bluetooth to my Mac and see how it will go, right? So if I understand correctly from the manual, I need to press F and first channel. And we have a keyboard connected to my, book, my MacBook over Bluetooth. So let help my MacBook understand what this layout, what is the layout. And let's try to do the most interesting part for, I think everybody is try to type. And I need to remind that this is yellow linear switches, right? So it should be um, not very loud, linear and pleasant, right? So let's do some typing exercise. So now guys, when you was able to hear the real sound and enjoy of the sound of yellow switches, right? Let's check what about our hot swappable functionality of this keyboard. Let's just try to use this key puller and to, to see how easy you can you can switch the key keycap right so let me pull a couple of keycaps out of this keyboard and you may see that it's kind of very easy you know what what do we see inside basically it's the same north facing window for the backlight you see the switch itself linear one right and it's one two two pin and of course three in in the center um, from left to right standard mechanical switch let me try to pull to pull one outside and it's very easy it's really 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 easy and you can see what is inside of the switch so let me show you closer what we have inside let me pull up elevation oh you know second time it's much much better so let's see what is inside so you can see that first layer is uh, keycaps, then it's a switches, then we have top plate and under this plate you cannot see but I see the uh, EVA silence foam, under the foam it's PCB and under the PCB is another silencer foam which leads us to the 90% of sound removing and 20% of noise 
reducing. So let me pull one more switch for you so you will see how easy it is. And basically I can say you that it's the most convenient switches what I ever pulled from the keyboard. It's really easy and logical. You need to just to catch these two connectors and pull out and that's all which is super nice. Okay, let's put it, it back and while I'm doing so I have one small recommendation for Royal Clutch maybe if they're watching this video so you give us this additional four switches yellow switches which is of course super cool and super nice thanks for that but you know what will be the more interesting and unique if you pro if you can provide different type of switches for each keyboard so for example this one is yellow but maybe I want to try red and brown so I can customize and put for example for escape brown one for enter or at least for Dell um, red one or blue one so in this way I will be able to customize a little bit the keyboard immediately from the box this is a small recommendation if it's if it's applicable so let's put back keycaps and this is really easy to do and here we go okay guys while we are looking so close to the to the keyboard let me show how to check battery charge you need to press you need to press fn and enter and you will see that this one two three four five six seven keys are highlighted which means that this keyboard is charged for 70 percent right now on the right side of the keyboard you have mute button and you have media control which is volume control you can increase and decrease where it's like small unique adjustment to your to your keyboard also you may see a couple additional legends on a uh, on this keycap so you see that it's one two three which mean three three different devices what you can connect you can see win and mark so this keyboard is so this keyboard can be connected to mac and windows also you can see this different other keys dial and page up and page down and this stuff on an arrow arrow part and also you have additional multimedia keys for f1 2 3 and so on so next important feature of this keyboard of course is backlight let me switch off everything what i have and show you different modes different scenarios of this backlights to be able to control this you have a couple of options first of all you have you you can change different ways function print screen nice this is for gamers so this is monochrome effect you can select the color color what you want to see using function and left arrow or right arrow you can increase or decrease the speed of light change also arrow app up and arrow down you can decrease or increase brightness what is the conclusion of today's review for this royal clutch rk96 uh, in general i'm really impressed with quality of this keyboard it's kind of heavy well well made with many layers good plastic and especially this the style i love this blue colors dark blue and light blue also this multimedia volume control is super nice so i i would recommend this keyboard from my professional opinion i i will love to use this keyboard for myself for a couple of weeks to see what else i can found uh, in it but in general I'm pretty solid in my opinion that this is a good keyboard and if you want to check and if you want to buy this keyboard right now it's a really good time to do so because I just check two sources where you can uh, buy this keyboard and what I can see one is better than another so if you will go to official Royal Clutch rkgamingstore.com to this product you will see that it's a 
promotion right now, back to school event, and you can save uh, up to 15%. But if you will go to Amazon store, same RK Amazon store, you, you will save up to 42%. And this is real cool deal. Okay guys, let's summarize our review today. So, as what I what I'm what I may say. So this key, this keyboard was presented for me by Royal Clutch. Thank you guys for doing so. Really appreciate it. I did previous review. Link will be somewhere here uh, on a different um, different keyboard from Royal Clutch, and it was also super nice so now i can compare two keyboards uh, between each other and both of them are really good if you if you want to read more detailed information please go to my blog down below where you can read for mk75 and mk96 both keyboards pros and cons tech parameters all of that you can do the same on official rk uh, royal clash website right uh, please do not forget to press a like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and this video was useful for you please follow the news on my youtube channel because i will do the giveaway events soon so it will be surprised what what i what what product i will include into it so stay tuned stay connected have a wonderful rest of your day. See you.